Okay, so let's imagine we're at a party. Things are pretty funky at this party, and there are three people hanging out by the bar. Let's call them Sigmund, Stanley, and Leon. Sigmund has a theory about why people develop psychological problems, but his theory has been criticised by many people for being untestable. Stanley turns to Sigmund and says sarcastically, nice theory. Leon observes this and leans over to Sigmund to reassure him by saying, actually, I think it's a good theory. Okay, so what can we make of these behaviours? What is causing Stanley's sarcastic behaviour? The person, which is Stanley? How about the target, which is Sigmund? Or what about the situation, the nightclub? Well, what we have here is information that there is little consensus in behaving sarcastically. Yes, Stanley was sarcastic, but Leon wasn't. So this helps us make a person attribution. The sarcastic behaviour must be due to Stanley's disposition. Perhaps he's a sarcastic person. Okay, let's imagine now that Stanley leans over to Sigmund again and says, nice theory, in a sarcastic manner. This time, however, Stanley then turns to Leon, who also has some interesting theories, and says, hey Leon, your theory is awesome, in a genuine manner. What do we make of this? Well, now we have a different type of information, namely distinctiveness information. Stanley's sarcastic behaviour is performed towards one target, and that's Sigmund, but not towards another target, which is Leon. So now the behaviour varies across targets and we can make a target attribution. There's something about Sigmund that makes people behave in a sarcastic manner towards him. Perhaps he's got an irritating interpersonal style. What about a final possibility? This time Stanley says, nice theory, sarcastically to Sigmund at the nightclub. However, the next day when they both turn up to the office to continue their research, Stanley says, nice theory, again to Sigmund, but this time he means it in a genuine way. So now we have information about the consistency of Stanley's behaviour towards Sigmund. It's not very consistent as it varies from one situation, the nightclub, to another, the office. So we would conclude that the behaviour is due to the situation. Perhaps the music in the nightclub was too loud and the drinks too expensive, making Stanley irritable.